Hey guys, it's Amy here from Sunshine Functional Healing. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am a nurse practitioner with functional medicine training, and I specialize in treating women with fibromyalgia. I help women um, conquer their fears about fibromyalgia, embrace what they have and the things that they can change so that they can get back to loving their life. Today, we're going to be talking about four quick and clever tips so that you can handle regret. In case you aren't already aware, if you have regret and you're letting it kind of just boil and fester, that is going to increase your stress, which then is in turn going to increase your pain, your fatigue, and your brain fog, not to mention all of the other symptoms of your fibromyalgia. So regret and the emotions that come along with regret um, can eat you alive if you really let them. And even if you're not letting them and you're just not handling that regret, it is going to do damage and it is going to increase your stress and worsen your fibro symptoms. So regret can cause you to treat others um, and allow others to treat you in a way that um, you wouldn't normally let them do that and you wouldn't normally allow it. Um, and this is really just no way to live. Regret can really... Um, seem all consuming and something that you're never going to um, get over and that you're going to have to live with it for the rest of your life. But when you work through um, these four tips that I'm going to give you, um, it will help you release these emotions so that you can finally move on and be free from that regret. The first tip is to burn it down. And this isn't referring to the patriarchy, okay? Um, write down every single emotion, the regret, the hurt, the anger, the sadness, and why you feel that way. Then burn or shred it, these pieces of paper, so that they're gone and out of your life. Releasing the emotions um, in this is going to allow you to close that loop um, that has most likely been running in your brain and physically um, be able to step away from it and away from that cycle. This step is probably um, seems really silly, but you'd really be surprised at how um, freeing this action actually is. So write down everything that you're feeling about this regret, why you're feeling it, how you're feeling it, all of the details, shred up the paper, burn it if you can. Otherwise, just the act of mirror writing it down and shredding it and saying like, I'm over this is going to help you. Tip number two is apologize only once. And um, you want to apologize to anyone that you may have hurt while wallowing in your regret if you haven't already apologized. Then apologize to yourself. Okay, this is a really important part. Stop asking for forgiveness. Once you've apologized to the people that you may have hurt, and then you apologize to yourself, stop asking for forgiveness. It's time to let it go. And you've made um, the amends where necessary, and you cannot spend the rest of your life apologizing, nor do you deserve to live like that. So once you've apologized, let it go. And it's time to finally start moving on. Tip three, after you've apologized, it's time now to say no. So after you're done apologizing, you need to tell yourself and tell others no. When regret comes to pushing um, at your psyche in the wee hours of the night, tell it no. When someone tries to lull you in and pull you in, reminding you of your regret and what you've done, Tell that person no, that you're done, you're over that regret. You do not have to give in to those thoughts or pressures, no matter who they are coming from. You have done your apologizing, and now it's time to move on. And then tip number four is to remember kindness. Kindness is something that you should show others. Remember that you are not only the one, um, not the only one dealing with regret in the world. There, we all have regret. We all have things that we wish had gone a different way. So make sure that you have time and that you're um, embracing compassion and sharing that with others um, in hopes that they will um, return that someday to you when you need it the most. 
Um, following these four tips is definitely going to be helpful for you. Um, and, you know, also making sure that you're showing your self kindness is going to be really beneficial. Um, and while you may have regret, that does not mean that you don't deserve things, um, whether it's a break, maybe a bouquet of flowers or a compliment. Remember that above anything else, everybody is going to deserve compassion. So keep that in mind. We're all dealing with stuff, especially with through this pandemic and everything else going on in our lives. But if we hold on to these regrets, it's definitely going to make your fibromyalgia symptoms worse. And so if doing this on your own is not feasible, it's not working, you're not able to get over regret, you know, you can, one, schedule an appointment with me and we can talk about things and see how I might be able to help you. Um, you can also talk to a counselor, or a therapist, your family physician, a friend, and, and see if you can brainstorm some ideas. And if you've liked this video, you found it helpful, make sure you click on the like button. Um, and if you'd like to make sure you see all my videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Again, have a great day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.